Hi everyone, I'm Roberto Coscia, and today's video I want to show you augment code versus cloud code because I want to show you um, how efficient those are in versus other AI coding tool like Cursor, uh, Windsor, etc. etc. to code more effectively. Most of you might be today decide, trying to decide which, what should be the AI coding tool to use so that can, I can use best the value for, for money. And uh, uh, the reason why you should listen to me is that I used almost every AI coding tool out there. I'm quite up to date to those. Um, and uh, I uh, gain a feeling of what uh, is actually best uh, for uh, coding and uh, um, today can get your job done. Uh, if you are a person that, uh, um, a solopreneur or a person that not necessarily has specifically uh, coding skills, uh, this is the video for you. Even though if you, have, if you are a person that uh, have experience with coding, this is as well the video for you because uh, I'm first of all in the IT sector, I work uh, as an automation test engineer, I, I know I have experience with coding myself. And um, so this is really uh, an important video, I believe, because we'll give the answer to your question. So let's start with some uh, um, experiences I had with different tools, but I will be very brief because you want to get to, to, to the juice right away. That's what I want to give you. So uh, lately I've been using Try AI, which is uh, an AI coding tool from Bidens, um, which is quite cheap. You spend three, three euro the first month and then the 10 euro after, and you, you can use Colod for uh, Sonnet with it. Um, I used the cursor. I made. I paid the membership. I paid for uh, raw code uh, API with API key. I used Gemini Code Assist. I used Gemini Code, which is uh, basically the uh, correspondent competitor of Cloud Code. And uh, I used Augment Code, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go to the juice. Uh, what I want to tell you is that. Try AI, despite it was cheaper and with a lot of very good tools, maybe the best for that reason. When I was trying to solve complex problems, not necessarily using coding skills myself, it would not, it would always make mistakes and it would be, be um, I w it would be easy to get into that to wheel, that loop of um, not finding solution to problems, especially when code base became bigger. What I noticed and what I've done recently, you working in a project for a bypass of an ATS machine, tool that allow people to import CV and output CV tailored for job applications, such that uh, they improve their ATS score. Um, I had I encountered a very big issue related to a bug. Uh, you might see a previous video back where, especially the video that, where I was testing Try AI, where I actually had this issue. I recently remade again the subscription to Augment Code, and in only a few hours, I'm saying few hours because there were different issues to be fixed, it fixed everything. And, uh, uh, and I came to a conclusion that Augment Code, it it is able to understand better the context, to understand exactly, uh, I think it, it, it has specifically a methodology that uses that get to the notch of the issue and solve it. Uh, this, this is the difference between this and other AI coding tools. Cloud code is another one that has been praised. We'll talk soon, but what I want to say that uh, augment code, as you can see here, I have it here. That, by the way, is an is an extension of uh, uh, Visual Studio Code that you can simply uh, install it here. Augment code, 
then you need to have to make the subscription go to the website of augment code to make uh, uh, basically the the subscription to the pro feature which is 50 dollars per month but well worth it it's more expensive than try i but it it get the job done it really really worth it um so here i'm not seeing augment augment code is here uh, ah, okay it's called augment you have to install it and you get this icon here working um this not only when you write prompt you can uh, refine them you can use uh, a lot of very cool tools mcps etc etc uh, you can use the chat mode the agent and the remote agent mode and uh, uh, but uh, what you can do it can really solve the problem um, in the way that you would see in, in cursor and uh, cloud code it plan tasks so you can see the task as they are planned and you can go away basically you can write the prompt and go away to return in five ten minutes and i get all of them solved it's very, the methodology used to approach problems is really unique in augment code and the reason why i'm making a lot of videos about it is because it really make a big huge difference to your project if you want to to really fix and get things done with ai coding tools especially if you're not a technical person augment code is the best bet um <clears throat> let's i want to show you the difference with cloud code just and tell you a little bit about cloud it's in general i i made the pro plan um, one month ago even though cloud is fantastic and also it allow you, you can use cloud code with the pro subscription um what i noticed is that uh, the very very soon as soon as you use uh, cloud cloud you run out of credit and you need to wait four hours to then ask other questions this was something that put me off very fast uh, cloud code from what I re I've read, has the same issue. Even though it's very cool, also can be used uh, and it's effective, you can run out of credit quite fast. There are different plans you can make with cloud code specifically. Um, and there is the pro plan and uh, per month with annual subscription um, in the, for the individual or for a team. But 200 build build up front the 100 plan that could that allow you um to use for for longer for more serious project and allow to use sonnet and opus and the 200 that obviously is the the one that has the uh, highest usage limit so um document code for to my experience it we spent 50 euro which is below 100 200 but it's quite reasonable to get the job done if you have a project. And I personally didn't run out of credit after using it for long. Uh, doesn't mean that if you use for one month and you always code, you will definitely run out of credit. But uh, if you use it, use it few hours per day, you will not. You will, uh, 50 euro will be enough. And you can use uh, uh, Cloud4 within it very effectively. Uh, as you can see here, I solved the problem. I want just to show you, I, I didn't see it live before, but I, I will, I'm, this is the level of confidence I have to show it to you, because uh, if you see the video, uh, I'll try last video, uh, there was an issue that I couldn't resolve with try. It was a complex issue. I solved so easily with document code, so which made it very, very worth it to make the membership. I want, uh, I couldn't couldn't even see the optimized CV in the preview at all, and the download had a lot of huge issues. And now instead, I'm able to to see it, and uh, I asked other things to be completed. So now I will upload my CV. By the way, let me know in the comment if you wish this app to be put online. This app really improve your life if you want to, if you want to apply for jobs you can put your job application as you can see i uploaded my cv now what i do i go to a job application in english for example a software testing one which which is my job just to be in team with my cv and yes 
is it in English? QA automation test sounds good. Now I add here the job description. Then I get the job title, QA automation engineer, and the company name, Leonardo Belgium. Leonardo and QA automation tester. And analyze. I can analyze my CV and the job application for keywords in a very easy way. And the issue I had after click optimize with the bal in a balanced way was that I couldn't get um, the preview and neither the download of effective the CV up to date, the optimized CV. So now I, I'm testing this for the first time with you because I'm quite confident it will work. Um, because it, it did, I just made a few changes after to, perf to make perfect. But argument code is that good to fix your problem, to really understand what is the problem. So we have 0.6%. Okay, I, because it, this application is made in a, such a way that if there is, a, it, it update with the keywords only if it is reasonable, reasonable to your CV. Otherwise, um, it would make sense to add this, a keyword that you don't you don't have experience with. So now let's make it a backend to upload. And here we go. We have a CV that is working fine. The preview with a CV up to date. Um, probably a few things need to be changed still, but we are in a much better position. Before you couldn't see anything. Let's see the download. We have only two last job experiences. Okay, we have some uh, incongruencies, but we have here the last two job experiences instead of uh, all of them. Um, okay, team lead. Okay, so, uh, let's probably just modify quickly. I will ask a prompt to fix uh, two issues. One related to the uh, title of the job uh, title I want to apply for, team lead which doesn't seem to be very um, correct and uh, to show all the job experiences not only the last two and uh, i'll show you soon the result okay so after a while uh, i uh, and after a few fixes uh, we have we now have uh, the application working almost correctly there are some small fixes to be to be made but uh, what i want to say with this that uh, uh, argument code enabled to fix the issue well wh while before we try i i couldn't even see the preview and the download file you can see that here we can see uh, at least uh, the the first two experiences um I, there is something I need to ask to fix to to show me also the other experiences, the other sections, like they're doing here. Uh, but it's definitely progress from before. Uh, in synthesis, do I think that uh, argument code will be the one totally uh, fixing all your possible problems? No, but it will be. It it is a big improvement. And I think it's the best AI coding tool compared to others. It can really understand better, I noticed, and fix and get you closer to the solution. Um, fix, I think a better solution can be, uh, there is still space for improvement. And uh, in future, probably uh, with the new and better AIs, uh, issues can be solved always better. Uh, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comment. Um, is we're just about one prompt away to fix the um, the CV and get and get the result we want. We just need, for example, here to uh, add. There are few issues. One is that I don't see the company name here showing, um, and it's true that I don't see all my experiences, but only the first two. And three that I don't see the other sections, which is the core competencies as. Uh, no, the core competencies are here, the education and the, the career notes, and I think there is another one about the QA frameworks, etc. Uh, that's it from today. Um, hope this video was useful. Click like, subscribe, push the notification bell to, to see the, the future videos, and uh, see you in the next video.